Hey guys, it's your homeboy, the one only Great Dane. So, I just wanted to make a quick video on the recent update to Brawl Stars. So, as you guys probably know, you can use star points to get special um, cosmetics or exclusive cosmetics, as well as boxes to get other items you might need. So, yeah, you get these special offers in the star shop. So, I think I'm a pretty decent person to talk about considering I do have a few star skins, this one being one of them, one of the cooler ones. So, it's definitely important for me to make this because they made a very critical change to the way it works now. So, as you guys will probably remember, there was a third section over here that no longer exists. So, you now have trophy events, map maker, and Power League. So I think Power League used to just be over here and it's still named Power League, but it comes under um, a new way of playing. So how it works is essentially it doesn't matter, let's say you make it all the way up to this gold token, right? If you somehow manage to drop all the way from the gold down to this blue, at the end of the season you'll still get the reward for whatever the gold is and it tells you right here. So solo mode, where you join two random players, and then there's team mode, where you first create a team. So guys, uh, first of all I want to point out, and something that does make me a bit sad, is that there is no more way to do a solo mode in Power League anymore, which basically just means you have to rely a lot more either on people you choose to play with for team mode, and you would have those two people in your team before starting the match, or solo mode, where you join two other random players against another group of randomly matched players, and that's their idea of trying to make it more fair. And it says that it's based on your highest rank, not your current rank. So, and I guess a great example of that is what I currently have. So you'll notice I'm a bit lower than my highest. So, right now, <laughs> again, I haven't made too much progress, and I'll tell you why in a second. So, basically, if you guys remember the old Power League, it would be, let's say, just one match of Brawl Ball. Well, now it needs to be at least two matches, so... Each one of these Power League matches is going to take you at least five minutes. Assuming you, your team isn't ridiculously better than the other. And they are trying to make it pretty balanced, so... Yeah, there's that, first of all. And second of all, there's also a starting section to the Power League mode where... There's two team leaders selected out of the group based on, I think, whoever has the highest rank. I've been team leader a few times. Not always, though. It's pretty fair. So, what happens is that team leader gets to choose a character that is banned. And then both teams can select the same player to be banned. And no one on either team can select either one banned player or two banned players. So let's say my team, I'm the leader and I choose Tick. No one on either team can choose Tick. So then the other team can also ban Tick or choose another one. So let's say they choose Rosa. Now no team can either choose Tick or Rosa. And then once those two banned characters or one technically are decided, the six members get to choose what characters they want to be. And obviously they can't choose the banned or banned ones. So then you get your full team and something that's unfortunate that can happen is the last person to choose because it goes in a pattern it goes two people on your team then two on the other then two on yours and then two on the other and it goes in like six stages and then you all finally choose your characters and the band characters then you select what star powers and gadgets you want and once all of that's finally done then you get into the match so let's say it's brawl ball you play through that brawl ball match, and you have to keep in mind this is an entire brawl ball match. Let's say your team wins. Now you get one win, so it's best two out of three. So, let's say your team wins, then you have to play again, so it's the same brawl ball match. And they have a few selected maps. So you play again, and if you, let's say the other team wins now, now you gotta play another whole match. And that's why this can take so long. So that's why that takes so long. So, essentially, Power League is a lot more difficult than it was, but...
So it's a lot harder now, but you know, you can also see that the most I would usually get throughout a season was about 700 star points, but it's now like just a lot more, but also it's significantly harder. So if you get two wins and the other team doesn't get any, this bar is going to increase more than if you got just one win, but it also works the same way vice versa, as in if the other team gets two wins, you lose a bit more than if they would have just got one win. And it is still possible to get ties, and then let's say if you're playing Brawl Ball and the match ends in a tie, then neither team gets point at a point, and you have to just keep playing, and these matches can take a really long time, which is why they are worth significantly more. So I do hope that they implement a way, even if it's in its own tab, to once again do solos in Power League, because that was my main way of getting points. So points are higher, but it is harder. And if you actually look at my uh, stats, you'll notice that, and I don't want to take too much time because I know you guys really just care about star points, as I would consider myself probably in the top 100 of all players to have the most solo victories in the game because... I really don't focus too much on the rest, because this is a team battle and uh, battle royale game, so I think it's unfortunate that they took out the battle royale aspect of it a little more. And you'll even notice that, and it's a great example, I wanted to wait until um, the championship came in, because that's another way to get points. So you guys should try to get your highest league in, um, you should try to get your highest league in power league. Obviously, you shouldn't waste a crazy amount of time on this, because again, it takes a lot of time. I would suggest just playing 50 matches, at least for this season, because I don't know if every character, because this is a special character that you unlock by playing 50 matches. Also, I want to make sure that you guys know that you're not, when you unlock Smuggler Penny, you also have to purchase Smuggler Penny, but it's four star tokens, which again is why you want the star tokens. So I believe um, Smuggler Penny is going to cost 25,000. Which again is quite a bit, but it's worth. It's it's easier technically to get more now if you play consistently. And I'm gonna show you the rest of the ways that you can still get star points that doesn't involve Power League, because Power League has been at least pretty difficult for me because I choose it with randoms, and it it's pretty 50/50 on if you're gonna win or not. So I'd suggest at least playing however many matches you need to to unlock stuff. I don't know if these challenges are gonna change each season, so you might need to deal damage or gain health. I would always suggest just unlocking the character because if you unlock smuggler penny this power league season you can purchase smuggler penny anytime in the shop for star points when she cycles in because she's going to cycle with the rest of the skins but if you don't unlock smuggler penny this season you will never be able to so these are pretty special skins that i would definitely recommend trying to do because it's pretty similar to the brawl pass skins where it's like one and done you can pretty much never get them again once they're just you know, done with the season. Also, one last thing I should mention, and I know this is probably a pretty long video for just talking about star points, but the Power League, you'll notice uh, 18 days, 22 days. So the Power League is going to end at roughly about the same time as the season ends. So that's usually a good way to estimate it if that helps out in your head. Okay, so now that I've talked a lot about Power League, and again, it is pretty important to talk about because it's such a significant way <laughs> to change the game. And oh, one more thing. Uh, for those of you that played the old Power League, you'll know that you only got three matches. This one, obviously, you can just keep playing as much as you want, but it takes a lot longer, so just keep that in mind. Also, it said if you leave the match, because these are so long, there will be penalties. Well, I'm not 100% sure what that is. I think it just means that you... um that you lose some of your league status so I'm pretty sure if you left the match and even if you won you'd probably still lose some of your bar here I'm pretty sure that's the only penalty it means I doubt they do anything else more serious because that'd be kinda stupid so there is that so this doesn't happen too often but whenever the championship challenge comes in and this is for the world brawl stars cup thing which again it's unfortunate there's no real way to have solos in this and you'll notice of all the challenges in here they have siege gem grab bounty hot zone brawl ball but you'll notice there's no duo or solo showdown because a lot of their championship is based on team team modes 
it's only three losses this time. So, even if you don't plan on going to the finals for the <laughs> for All Stars World Cup or whatever, I definitely recommend at least trying this so you can get some free star points because three free losses is essentially like 400 free tokens, assuming you do pretty well in your rando team isn't horrible assuming you play with a rando team I always usually do not because I um, can't find a team necessarily but because it's just easier it takes less time to you know get people together and just it's just a lot less work honestly so I think that honestly really covers up all the ways you can get star points from actually playing specific modes the only other way that I know of as of right now is by getting enough trophies with each of your characters. So, if you don't know, each character in Ball Stars has a rank. So, the minimum you need to get star points from each character season is 500 trophies. And you'll notice I've gotten everyone except for Stu because he literally just came out, and I'll try to review him in a second if I can. Is every brawler I have is above 500, so I can just get free star points at the end of each season. And what's really good, and I totally recommend doing, is trying to get each of yours, and you'll notice I pretty much have this too, is trying to get every single one of your brawlers up to 550, because then once you, and don't go much past 550, because then you only lose about one trophy at the end of the season, so then you only need to play each character once to get the maximum amount of star points. And by maximum, you can obviously see you can get more, but by maximum, what I really mean is it goes from 20 to 50, which is an increase of 30, and then 50 to 70, which is an increase of 20. So this is the biggest increase, is what I mean by maximum, because every other level you go is going to take more trophies, about 50, but you're only going to be getting 10. So this is the most you can get without going like insane dedicating your life to Brawl Stars. So if you play a regular amount, like an hour or so per day like me at most then I would recommend going for 550 so if you do that you'll be getting I didn't do the math unfortunately so I apologize for that but it's 70 points and right now there is so it's 70 times 45 so let's see 70 times. okay yeah that's it's some of a thousand amount of star points it, it is a lot I guarantee you guys um, I'll probably actually, now that I say it, I'll do the calculation and I'll leave it in the comments just so you guys can see how much more you'll be getting than if you didn't get to 550 with each of your brawlers. And that should give you a good estimate, but I definitely recommend 550 because that is the easiest way to get the most um, star points per season without putting in a crazy amount of work because obviously you guys can just sit in s solo showdown or something and just get five second places or six second places and then you can get 50 easy trophies and then you'll just be done and it's especially easy if you have 549 you just wait in a bush the whole match you just get to 550 super easy guys I guarantee it so again I didn't want this video to be too long but it does take a long time to try to explain Power League without you guys actually just playing it for yourself you'll have a much better understanding it's basically the same thing as the Brawl Stars World Cup, but, you know, with regular players, essentially. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like if you think this will help you out. I really, there's only really three ways at the moment, and the championship thing only lasts for two days, so get in while you can, and that's why I'm trying to make the video right around now. So again, if this helped you, leave a like. If there's any questions or anything else you want to tell me, make sure to say so in the comment section where you'll find the number I come up with. I'm sure it's a pretty decent number. And I think that's about it. Um, there is one more thing, actually. I want to apologize that there was no stream today on Pop Goes. I'm going to try to put that for tomorrow, so if that does interest you, if you think I'm a good YouTuber, make sure to subscribe to the notification bell so you can get more videos with me in it. So tomorrow should be a stream, hopefully. I want it to go at least about an hour and maybe complete three nights of Pop Goes. I don't want to go and delay the stream a third time in a row because that's really going to suck. And I apologize to the new subscribers and the old ones especially that have been waiting a while for this. But I am really excited. I hope you guys can tell. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. 
Good luck with Brawl Stars, link in the description if you've never tried it. It's The game is only getting better in my opinion. And of course for the review, um, there's always like more animations, they're always just improving the game. Uh, I almost forgot, I didn't, I didn't show you guys Stu yet. But they're always adding more voice acting, more um, animations to just make the game feel smoother, play better. So, a lot of people are saying that, um, yeah, I had some weird lag there, that Stu is pretty overpowered. His load is pretty slow, but you'll notice that he has this little billy that leaves flames and moves him pretty fast. So the reason his um, reload is so slow is that every single shot he does is enough to fill his super bar. And another important thing to notice that's different from his um, from most brawlers and brawl stars is that whenever you hit another player with your super, it does not fill your super ball at all, super bar at all. And the reason for that is obviously because if it did, he'd just be able to keep spamming his super infinitely. And he pretty much almost can. Like, if you guys can see how much I'm attacking. It isn't worth a crazy amount of damage necessarily, but Stu is really good at being able to shoot the ball in Brawl Ball because he always has his super ready pretty much. And he's also really good at dodging and just escaping attacks. So I don't necessarily know that he's overpowered, but he's definitely a really good brawler. He's unlocked in Trophy Road, and if you guys haven't, I definitely recommend trying him out. He's really fun. Um, I haven't got his star power yet, but I think that's pretty good. He also has his gadget, which just allows everyone in the circle to move just a bit faster, including him. So it's, it, it's not a crazy amount faster. It's not like Max's or BB's supers fast, but it is somewhat faster. Hope you guys can tell. Anyway, I think that's enough of that. So again, always enjoying Brawl Stars. It's a great game. Not sponsored, but I do enjoy it. Link in the description. I, I like the new brawler. He's definitely interesting, to say the least. And without further ado, I'm going to end the video now. So thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye, guys.